What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Coach Faye, and I'm back with another word that God wants me to give y'all. So with this first word that he wants me to give y'all, um, I had a dream about three weeks ago, going on a month, okay? And in this dream, I was in some type of some type of home, it like I was in the kitchen, okay? And I was with somebody else, but I'm not sure who I was with. Um, so in the dream, it was like a big sink. It was like one of those deep, deep sinks. And all I seen was like a whole bunch of black snakes in it. Like they were slithering around in the sink, okay? And next to me and this person, it was like a big trash can, okay? And what I was doing in a dream, I had like these tweezers. And I was picking the snakes out. I would pick them out, out the sink, you know, and get ready to throw them in the trash. But when I picked them out, y'all, when I picked them out, the snakes would start to hiss at me, okay? The snakes started to hiss, and they started to get aggressive with me. They started to try to bite me and all type of stuff, okay? But what I noticed was when they were in the sink, they were not aggressive. They were just slithering around like, you know, like they was in a natural environment. They were just slithering around, but it wasn't until I started to pick them out and I started to throw these snakes in the trash when I picked them out, they got aggressive. They started to hiss. They started to show they, you know, they true colors. You know what I'm saying? So God wanted me to give y'all this dream. And what really stood out to me was, you know, the snakes look black in the sink. But once I picked the snakes out, I seen they had a blue stripe going across like the side of his body. Okay. So after this dream, God had me look up, you know, the type of snake that I saw. So I did research and looked up the type of snake that I saw in a dream, and I found out that it was a blue striped garter snake. Okay, a blue striped garter snake. And these things are not really big. It'd be like, um, I'm gonna see if I can attach a picture, but if not, I'll probably attach the link to the article, or y'all can just um look up the name of it. Y'all see how it looked, but it, they're not really big. Okay, so I looked up blue striped garter snake. And it says that it's non-venomous. It's common garden snakes are not dangerous to people or pets, but they will readily bite to defend themselves. These snakes are not aggressive and avoid direct contact with people and pets. Virtually all bites occur when the snakes are intentionally molested. Okay, and y'all seen like how in the dream, the snakes wasn't ready to bite until, you know, I intentionally, you know, picked them up and ready to throw them out. Okay, so that's when, you know, they started to get aggressive with me. While they was in that sink doing whatever they was doing, you know, they was cool and they were just slithering around, you know, doing what they were doing. But once I started to pick them out and get ready to throw them out, they knew their time was up. They started to get aggressive with me and they started to hiss at me. They started trying to bite me, trying to snap at me. Like, y'all know how snakes do. So God potentially gave me the name for this video was beware of snakes in the grass because he said specifically snakes in the grass because if y'all know snakes in the grass they're usually like you know slithering around in the grass okay and they plotting you know and then then they're, they're not really seen they're not really seen in the grass because you know that's the point they they being sneaky they moving in the grass and they're usually plotting, plotting on their next target okay so God gave me three words for just to describe snakes in the grass. I heard these three words clear as day. He said, sneaky, sly, and conniving. Okay, to describe snakes in the grass, he said, sneaky, sly, and conniving. He said, these are the type of snakes that are in your life. They are sneaky, they are sly, and they are conniving. And if y'all know these type of people, they're really good at pretending, okay? They're really good at pretending, real good at, you know, acting like they don't know what's going on and God gave me this word just to just to me to warn y'all that these type of snakes are not going to be the snakes that are just in your face that you can just see and you know that this person is a snake. God said in this season you're going to have to use some discernment and you're going to have to really be, you know, listening and talking to God and really getting this confirmation on things because if you're looking at these things through the physical eyes you're not really going to be able to see it because you know these good these people are real good are putting up a front okay these type of snakes are real good at putting up a front like I said they don't attack until they get touched they don't get attacked until they get cornered okay so you won't know that these people are a snake 
Okay, so God wanted me to warn y'all, and he said specifically snakes in the grass because these people are sneaky, sly, and conniving. Okay, they're real good at pretending. They're real passive aggressive. Okay, and it's not going to be in your face where you can just pinpoint, oh, this is a snake that's in my life. Let me go ahead and take out the trash. No, in this season, y'all need to go ahead and cut this grass down and start cutting out these snakes and start revealing these snakes. Once you start cutting down this grass, God will start revealing the snakes for you. Okay, it's not like you got to go around like, okay, are you being fake to me? Um, you know, start like I said, you can't do that. You can't just go to the, you can't just go to them directly, because like I said, it's not that type of snake. You're not gonna know. Okay. So you can't just go to them directly, okay? You got to cut down the grass spiritually and have God reveal to you these people, okay? He might not give you everything. He might not show you everything that they said, everything that they did. You know, sometimes it just, cause like I, what I'm hearing is like these people are close to you. It can be people that's close to you, people that you would have never thought, people that you would have never thought. Like I said, like it, it, it's people that's close to you, okay? So... God said you get them spiritual scissors and start cutting the grass. And he's going to reveal to you these snakes. Okay? He's going to reveal to you. You might not understand, but God will reveal it in his time. Okay? Everything will be revealed in his time. And the snakes will just end up exposing themselves and showing you exactly why God showed you that this person was a snake. You're, you're not going to have to do anything. You're not going to have to go to these people, confront them, okay, and be like, okay, what you been doing? Like, you you been talking about me behind my back? Like, no, you're not going to have to do none of that. Like, God is going to fight this battle for you, and God is righting all the wrongs that have been done to you in your life, all the people who talk bad about you, all the people who doubted you, all the people who have been jealous, secretly envying you, anything, Father, who God, he's about to reveal it to you, okay? And it's not going to feel good. It's going to hurt. But it's better than just having people around you who are just two-faced and, and, and riding the fence, you know, and, act, and portraying a person in front of you be, be, but being a whole nother person behind a closed door. Those are the worst type of people, okay? Like, if you see how these people act behind closed doors, you wouldn't even look at them like this is like this is the same person. You would be like, how is this the same person? This is what God is telling me. These are the snakes that 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 are attacking you right now. These are the snakes that are around you right now. Okay, so God wanted to tell you to get them spiritual scissors and start to cut that grass so He can reveal to you who these people are because these people can't go where you are going at least not in this season. Okay, they have to work on whatever they need to work on. They need to flesh out and and flush out whatever they need to flush out. Okay, because they can't touch the blessings that God's about to give you. They're going to end up delaying your blessings if you keep these people around you, if you keep these people connected to you. Okay, so that's what God wanted me to tell y'all for this message. Okay, just get those spiritual scissors and allow God to cut the grass. Okay, don't be afraid. Don't be like, don't be afraid because like I said, these people are close to you. Okay, these people can be close to you. And like I said, take this word back to God and get confirmation on it because there's a whole bunch of different snakes out here, y'all. But this is the specific type of snake that God wanted me to tell y'all today, okay? And I know people are going to need this word. So y'all, make sure y'all use discernment. Don't look through your physical eye. Look through your spiritual eye. Let God lead you on this path because the further y'all get on this journey of answering your calling, Y'all, it's like a whole journey, okay? It's like once you leave that past life, you know, stuff just start getting revealed to you, you know, people's intentions and all type of stuff, y'all, all type of stuff. So y'all just get confirmation on this word of God and y'all be blessed.